kitchen. Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Tonight's tea is going to be the one in the middle. Is it? It is squash, feta and red onion risotto. Mm -mm -mm. So it takes about 40 minutes to make and it is sin free and add six sins if you're not using the feta as your healthy extra a so yeah best use it as your a but if you haven't had many sins then six sins isn't a lot is it no anyway just walk the dog it's windy out there stay in me it's really windy out there um i've got tesco's coming tonight um between god i think it's eight and nine Bring the glasses I think it's eight and nine coming um, with my shopping and this week I'm going to be doing a chicken Kiev, a Kung Pao chicken, a cottage cobbler pie and a butternut mac and cheese. Look at that. That looks lush. So yeah, so that's the recipes for this week. So best crack on with this old risotto, I suppose. So I'll get all my bits and pieces out and then I will come back to you in a minute. Okay, so I've got everything out. So what have I got? I've got two frying pans. I've got a couple of red onions. Some mushrooms that I've got left. And some green beans. Some frozen peas. Some of my Grana Padano cheese pronouncing that really badly sorry about that um <clears throat> vegetable stock i'm really croaky so sorry if i keep going <clears throat> and it's really annoying you probably want to slap me around the head but <laughs> i can't help it <laughs> i'm annoying myself <laughs> anyway vegetable stock cube <clears throat> half a um butternut squash sunflower now we're doing risotto so you need risotto rice um you can't make risotto with balsamati rice because it's not like creamy enough um, it has to be risotto rice so you do need to buy the real McCoy the real stuff I'm gonna put some butter beans in mine I've got some of this um, feta cheese but it's not feta cheese it's um, salad cheese lighter can you see that no nah. so it's, it's like feta um, salt and pepper <coughs> I've got some sesame seeds and some pumpkin seeds and then I've got some turmeric, salt and pepper, I said that, I think I've said that, I'm starting to repeat myself, <laughs> some oregano and some chilli flakes, crushed chillies. So what we're going to do, to start with I'm going to spray my pan and then I'm going to cook my onion, so I'm going to chop up my onion and I'm going to get it cooked and I'll come back. Right, so I've got my bits and pieces chopped up. I've got my onions in here and I've added a bit of water um, to stop them from browning too much and sticking to the bottom of the pan. And I've turned my pan down and I'm now going to add my chopped butternut squash. Sorry, I'm snacking on a salt and vinegar rice cake. <laughs> I'm really hungry. And I don't want to, I don't need biscuits and stuff, so I've grabbed one of those. So that's now got to cook for five minutes, uh, which is all in there. So I'm going to continue cooking that, and then I'll come back to you when that is all nicely cooked. I've just got to tell you, I've just added um, some mushrooms. I've sliced up some mushrooms, and I'm also going to now add a couple of garlic. So I'm going to crush some fresh garlic in there. And I've made up some stock. It's two vegetable stock cubes and I have done 500 mils of hot water. And I've got that sat on the side at the moment. And I've also got some butter beans. <coughs> which... I'm just going to strain and pop in. Put 
and I'm going to put the whole can in because you don't get that many and that's going to make it really nice and creamy. So give that a bit of a stir. And I don't mind if those butter beans break up because they will enhance that creaminess. And so I'm not worried if they if they go a bit mushy and a bit creamy. I don't mind that. So I'll come back to you in a minute. I've got a couple of minutes left um, of this still to cook down. And then I can start putting my rice and my stock in. So I'll come back to you in a minute when I'm at that stage. Right, so... My time has just gone off to let me know that I need to add my rice. So before I do that, I'm just going to add some frozen peas. Pop those in. Give that a bit of a stir up. And then I'm just going to weigh out my rice. So you need... What's it say? You need 50 grams of risotto rice. So, if I can find the scissors, yay. Do you know, it's a really lovely evening out there now. It's been rubbish this week, the weather. These scales, honestly. There we go. Right. So, 50 grams. But I think the rest of the week, down in the south where I live, isn't very good. But weekends, blooming awful. Right. Oh, that's not a lot, is it? Just as well I weighed it. Was it 50 grams? Let me just check that. Yeah. I'm just double checking that because it just doesn't look at all. Right, so 50 grams is that. It's not a lot. So you're going to put your rice in. Give it a stir. You want all those grains to be coated. Do you know, is that supposed to be per person? Because that is like... I've never made a risotto with such mean rice. <laughs> Look. Not really risotto. I mean, they've got loads of risotto looking in there. Look. That must be per person, surely. So I'm going to do, I'm going to turn that down. I'm going to add some stock. And I'm just going to check in my book and see how many sins risotto rice is. And if it ain't many, I've got to put some more in because that is just crazy amount of risotto. It's not even going to make a risotto that amount of rice. Pants. Right, I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, so risotto is free, the same as rice and um, pulses and that kind of thing. So I'm actually going to take it that 50 grams is per person because that's crazy. And I'm going to go wild and I'm going to stick another 50 grams in. All of that much, which isn't a lot. So that's going in. So for two people, I have used 100 grams of risotto rice. So to that, I'm just going to add now some seasoning. Oh, let's tidy up a bit. And what you have to do, the trick of this is, you have to keep stirring it and keep adding your stock. So as your stock evaporates, you add more stock to it and so on. So you just keep stirring, adding stock, keep stirring, adding stock. So I need to turn this up a bit because it's way too low. I've got it at number five now. So I'm going to add some chilies. Just 
a few and some oregano nice big pinch of oregano some pepper a little bit of salt and that oh and some turmeric oh it's not been used yet oh it's ours right so let's get a teaspoon just going to put in some turmeric just to give it a bit of colour. I know it's got the orange of the um, butternut squash but I just think it will be um, quite nice with the turmeric in. So give that a good stir around and just keep stirring, keep adding your stock and you need to do that for about 20 minutes until when you get the, a grain of risotto and you put it between your fingers it's sort of it's pliable do you know what I mean it's not hard <laughs> you can you can squish it <laughs> so I'll come back to you when mine's at squishy stage okay so I've just put the last of my um, vegetable stock in there and you can see the rice has, um, if I show you, you can see the rice is swollen. So if I show you a an uncooked grain and a pretty much near, near all cooked grain, you can see the difference. So can you see the difference? But obviously the whiter one, this one is the raw one, and then this is the cooked one. And it's sort of doubled in size, and that's what you're looking for. And when you put it between your fingers, it'll squish. Whereas the raw one, obviously, I couldn't squish that. It was not good. So, I'm just going to wait for that last bit of vegetable stock to be absorbed. Now, risotto for me is supposed to be quite wet. I don't like it dry. I like it to be quite moist and bloody fly. Quite moist and um, almost with a little bit of sauce with it. Do you know what I mean? Saucy, juicy. Um, I don't want it like um, rice that you have with the Indian with a curry, dry like that. It needs to be nice and moist. So I'm not going to cook that for much longer. What I'm probably going to do is turn it off now and just leave it on the heat while I finish off some other stuff. So I've got some scissors and I am just topping and tailing some um, green beans. I used to cut them with the knife um, but they I mean, go off everywhere and they end up halfway around the kitchen. So I just find it's a bit easier with scissors. So literally, just chop, oh, says me, that went off in the kitchen. <laughs> Give me, move, move. What's that? What are you doing? Nice. Good girl. She's handy sometimes. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to put my pan on. There. And I'm going to give it a bit of a spray with some oil. I will tip you down in a minute so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, go away. No, not you, the fly. Naughty fly, Kimmy, not you. Oh, bless her. She thinks I've told her to go away now. Kim! What's mummy got? Nice. Right, it's nearly done. Oh, you missed it. Sausage. Right. So, let's see if I can tip you up so you can see what I am doing. There. Right. So, let's give that another stir. 
Lovely seagull out there. Can you hear him? Squawking his head off. Right. That's probably hot enough. I'm going to put my beans in. Another one. Catch. Oh, God. I probably should catch in tonight. And I'm going to cook those down for a little bit. And I'm going to give them a spray on top. Can you see what I'm doing? So give those a bit of a spray. And I'm going to add some garlic. If you didn't already know, we love garlic. <laughs> and then I will come back. Right, so my beans are nearly done. I've chopped up 45 grams of my um, feta cheese or my low-fat salad cheese. Popping that in. There. Give that a stir in. And just let that sort of warm through a little bit. And we're nearly ready to plate up and do the taste test. If you had some fresh herbs, that'd be nice. If you had some parsley or something, you could put that through. Chop some of that up and pop it in. Right, we we'll take them off the heat. Some sesame seeds. To my beans. Not so. And they're sticking to them quite nice. Whoop, Daisy. Quite nicely. <laughs> right. Uh, what else do I need? I need clay. So I'm just going to tidy all this up a little bit. Stand you up. And then I'm going to get a plate and plate up. Right. So just make sure everything's off, which it is. And here we go. So there's our risotto. some of this uh, grana padano and I'm just going to put a little sprinkling over my risotto. There we go. And I've got a few of these um, pumpkin seeds and I'm just going to put a couple, a few of those round as well. There we go. Little crack of salt and pepper, and there we go. 
we have a squash feta and red onion risotto and a green bean with um, sesame seeds and garlic so I'm going to take a quick pick and then I will come back to you and we'll do the taste test right then oh, stay me so where this got horrible it was lovely and sunny a minute ago now it's all blooming windy and looks like it's going to do the R word Ooh, Jason's out on his bike so he won't be very happy so there we go so I've taken a picture from my Instagram and I'm now going to try it so there's my bean pretty al dente you know nice and soft on the outside still crunchy mm. nice and garlicky with a sesame coating very nice and I'm just going to try my butternut squash, which looks a bit hot, risotto, try and get a bit of everything, excuse me, mm. that's nice, Oh, that's my kind of food. Delicious. Really, really, really blooming nice. Oh. Mm. It's a shame you can't have some. Where are you? Oh. <laughs> oh. You need to make this quick. You need to make this. I could eat that old pan, honestly. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely Kimbo. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this um, tutorial, give us a thumbs up and um, press the subscribe button and the little bell, and you'll get notifications. And I'm going now because that is so nice. I ain't got time to talk to you lot. I need to go and fill my face. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. See you again soon. Lots of love. Bye.